551 on this Thursday morning. Of course, we had a lot of very heavy rain last night. You've heard much about it, I'm sure, this morning. Still quite a bit of cloud cover across southeastern Colorado. We've had some pockets of fog. That's not just been true along and south of the Arkansas River, but also up across the Palmer Divide. In between, we've been lucky enough to get some breaks in the clouds, and it's been kind of nice. Uh, it's awfully cool, by the way, 43 in Cripple Creek, which I guess isn't a huge surprise. It's Cripple Creek. But we have 40s around Colorado Springs right now in some cases. So it's uh, an unusually cool morning by July standards. There you go, 45 in Peyton. There's a look at some of the low clouds right now. Uh, wind is calm. Good visibility there as opposed to Monument Hill where we saw there was some fog. Pueblo West uh, looks like we're going to see the sun very shortly as it crests the deck of low clouds that you see out there right now. Uh, light northeasterly breeze, just three miles an hour. Skycast shows some spotty showers, maybe off and on over the mountains here, even the first half of the day. We're not terribly worried about them. As we move into the afternoon, they'll start to become more widespread. But again, mainly over mountain areas. Notice we'll have some clouds out east, but you don't see a lot of radar activity, at least in the computer model across the plains this afternoon. Highs today pretty cool with 70s at lower elevations, 60s and 70s for the mountains and mountain valleys. Storms may increase in strength a little bit as we head into the late afternoon and evening hours. And notice at 6 o'clock, we have some pretty good colors here across some of these storms over the mountain areas. So there could still be some bursts of heavier rain, mainly over the higher terrain. Now, some of these could straggle out over the interstate. And if they do, we're quite saturated, so it wouldn't take much to cause additional flooding. But as compared to yesterday, this is going to be a little easier day for us, and things should wind down more quickly tonight. And I think tomorrow morning when you wake up, you'll have a lot of clear sky to look at. And then during the day, tomorrow should be warmer, considerably so. We'll jump up into the mid-80s in Colorado Springs. Wouldn't roll out some thunder in the afternoon, but we wouldn't expect heavy rain either. And then this weekend, at least along the interstate, looks mostly dry. We'll be in the upper 80s to lower 90s. Wouldn't roll out some isolated storms coming back into the area early next week, but right now those storms look nothing like those that we've just gone through. Um, just some very brief stuff in the afternoon, which might actually be welcome, and it could cool us off some. We'll be pretty warm. Um, in the 80s and lower 90s around Colorado Springs. Pueblo, about 90-ish tomorrow. Wouldn't roll out a little thunder in the afternoon. Not expecting too much. Look for mid to upper 90s then Saturday through Wednesday. Overnight lows in the 50s and 60s and just partly cloudy conditions are expected. Canyon City will have temperatures climbing into the 80s tomorrow, then 90s beyond. Overnight lows in the 60s. And uh, again, after tomorrow, the chances for any significant rain look pretty slim for a while. Mountain areas could have daily storms, but after tomorrow, I wouldn't worry too much about heavy rain with those storms either over the mountains. Highs will generally get back into the 70s, might even hit the lower 80s on Monday, so it will finally start to feel like July should, I suppose. Yeah, let's just get busy with the calendar here. <laughs> Again, before we still have August, people don't forget. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but August means September's next, and September means it snows. Uh, oh, <laughs> Marty, you went there. I did. Thanks, Marty. Yeah.